This man's comedy writing and producing and directing chops run deep from Seinfeld to Curb Your Enthusiasm to now, sadly, the final year of the show that he co-created with his wife, The League on FXX, debuted last week. Episode two of the final season is on tonight. Jeff Schaefer returns to The Rich Eisen Show. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. And uh, as I've, I've said to some of the TV guns, but for the radio audience, yes. uh, I just want to say... It's very nerve-wracking. I've been here before, and it's always been wonderful. Yes, sir. But to be here now with stars. How do you with, mean? What do you mean? Uh, with thing one and thing two, Brockman and Law, the stars <laughs> of the draft up ads. The men, when draft up said, we're doing an ad with Rich Eisen, but we yeah. need someone to bring the wood, the comedy yes, wood. the comedy wood. Who do we call on? The mugging sensations. <laughs> mugging like someone had their Air Jordan. Just, like, it's amazing. So I just want to say to you two, you got your start with us. And, you know, later when you're doing a, a Jer he got it at Jared's ad, when, you, when you're... <laughs> Every kiss begins with K. Yes, when a kiss yeah. begins with K, sure. when I want you to remember where you got your start. Well, you know that they are silent movie actors by trade. You know that, right? <laughs> I'm Did a you not know that? Despian. I've done four one-act plays. Have you really? Correct. Like, like... Uh, My nonverbal acting through the roof. Playing a tree... <laughs> Having no lines in a play where other people have lines does not mean you're a silent movie star. It just means they didn't want you to talk. <laughs> ah, it's fantastic. All right. Well, whatever. But they did. They did a good job. By the way, they they, sure. they did a fantastic job. That, yeah. the eyebrow, that eyebrow. There's that okay. eyebrow. Okay. Like a did salty you, sea captain. Your, your guys' <laughs> phones blew up this week. Phones, right? phones, phones blew up. Phones blew up. And then last blew up. night, Monday Night Football. Monday Night Football. That's where I saw it. Monday Night Football. We got I'm two watch, airings. I'm watching a game, wow. and all of a sudden, I see these men, these beautiful men, on my screen. Well, I didn't well, know what to do. Our draftops.com <laughs> celebrity pick three friends of Rich League. We're going to reveal um, in about 10 minutes' time who won this week. We got Colin Hanks, Billy Gardell, Joe Manganiello, a few other celebs who are in this, and also a fan. And you'll stay for the reveal of that, I hope. Cannot wait. Okay. In the meantime, let's talk about your show, The League on FXX. Debuted last week. Tyron Matthew, Calais Campbell were in the. Uh, were, uh, were yep, Honey the Badger, Calais Campbell. Uh, Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn uh, Lynch. And we actually dipped into the GM pool. We had a Seahawks GM, John Schneider. Uh, doing ah. more than a cameo, a, a big scene. Right, which for you has got to be a thrill because you're a Seahawks fan. You're it, a season ticket holder. You're one of the 12s. For I, I am one of the 12s. It was, it was insane to have, first of all, to be, to be at the Super Bowl yes. and to be there and to see that they were about to win and then to not have that happen and then to deal with that and be able to deal with it on our show with Marshawn. Right. To right. work through it mm -hmm. and exercise those demons with Marshawn Lynch in the, as the opening of the season premiere is incredible. That's fantasy football. Did you did you work anything out with that? Like mentally, are you are you okay I'm, with it? I'm okay with, with that it process? now. I, I was able to I was able to sort of put it to bed, right. and it was excitement for the new season, and then it's fourth and one, and then here we go. You know, again. but you it's not like you've never offended anybody with your comedy before. You do know some of the twelves that rubbed them a little bit the wrong way with Marshawn on your show. Yes, last week. but I think a lot of people. I heard also heard from a lot of the twelves. It's like I'm so glad you did this. It mm -hmm. was painful, but it was funny to watch. Right. You got to do this. All I've been doing is complaining for six months. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, when we had Marshawn on, <laughs> we we explained the scene to him. Right. And he looks at Jackie and, I, and he says, "You're gonna get me fired." And I go, I think you signed a 12 For those who didn't see it, I mean, you want to give a little yes. bit of a... Yes, it's, it's very simple there. Uh, Marshawn and, and Taco uh, are on the beach. Mm -hmm. um, Kevin, Taco's brother, uh, a little ways away, wants a beer. Taco opens a cooler, last one. And Marshawn says, let me run it over to him. Taco says, now nah, throw it. <laughs> Marshawn says, I'm right here. I can run it over. Just let me run it over. Taco's like, I'd really <laughs> rather throw it. He's like, I've been running it over all day. I could fall over. I could sleepwalk and run it over to him. Right. Taco says, I think I'm going to throw it. What's the worst thing that could happen? Tosses it. Errant throw, mm. Kevin tries to run it, runs into a grill, lights himself on fire, <laughs> screaming, running around the beach, runs by, and Taco says, I still think I made the right call. Now, is this true that you showed <laughs> this episode at a Seahawks viewing party with Pete Carroll there? That actually I, did happen? I can't happen? tell Pete Carroll was there. John Schneider and okay. other Seahawks were there. and Invited this show and you yes. into their, up in Seattle, this happened? This is at the VMAC. At this, their facility. Yeah, they, they was, there was a viewing party with uh, John Schneider and his friends. They, they watched because John had a, had a very big part. We also, okay. um, the guys were at the NFL draft, which is in Chicago. Our guys live in Chicago. Yes. So uh, we actually got to see how the Tyler Lockett trade went down, uh -huh. um, which featured Mr. McGiblets extensively. So <laughs> we got to do the draft in our own way. So we, we started with Marshawn and we ended with John Schneider. So it was, a very big, mm. it was a very big Seahawks show. Now, how did that scene play in the room? How to um, the room. They, they, it, apparently, everyone actually was able to laugh at it. <laughs> and I'll tell you, <laughs> reporters were asking Pete Carroll yes. what, they, what he thought of John Schneider's acting. About the league, about, about the your league. show. So now, this is, this is a little show. 
my wife and I started this show seven years ago. We did a pilot. Yes. And now the team, our team, you know, as a fan, all you want to do is interact with your team somehow. Yes. That you, so you pour your heart in and now all of a sudden the team is tweeting about our show. Oh it's, my gosh. That was, that is the culmination. Seven years to build up to that, mm -hmm. all worth it. Now at any point have you used your uh, entree with uh, general manager John Schneider to say bring Cam Chancellor in, bring him home? Have you a after the season one loss where Cam's replacement fell down. You could almost see Cam Chancellor's agent tripping <laughs> Dion Bailey. <laughs> Was he on the side? He might have been the on the 37, side. just with a big cane. I mean, yeah. here's the thing. I love Cam Chancellor, and I understand the Seahawks side, and unfortunately, both have gotten into these ossified positions, and, and Cam, who is a, a great leader yes. and a, a great guy, an all-around guy, is in a, he's doing something, it ends up being silly. It's like watching a, it's like watching a general, a five-star general dance or seeing your boss do pil Pilates. It's like, I don't want to see you doing this. I respect you for this. Don't, don't do that. Yes. This is silly. Yes. Come back. Stop. Get off the machine. Yes. Come back to the team. Have you ever seen a boss of yours do Pilates, ever? Um, no. Larry? No, well, I'm my own boss. Larry? You ever Larry, seen, uh, you ever I've seen Larry do seen Pilates? It. I've never seen it. There's a rumor that he's done it once. <laughs> but... But I cannot confirm or deny that. I'm here with Jeff Schaefer, the co-creator of the league on FXX, joining me here. Who, who are some of the other cameos that you've got going on? Um, some very fun cameos. We actually, you could make a good fantasy football team okay. with our Marshawn Lynch, uh, Golden Tate ah. is in, um, and also uh, Randall Cobb. Yes. Who does a uh, very funny thing is um, Jenny, one of our our uh, players on the league, one of our characters, mm -hmm. has a team. All their wide receivers, all their wide receivers are slot receivers. Uh -huh. uh, Percy Harvin, Edelman. Mm -hmm. um, Cobb, and she is now the victim of slot shaming. Slot, slot shaming. shaming, where all of your fantasy wide receivers are slots, and she says, look, having <laughs> slots doesn't define me. Yeah. And like, look, if you're going to go out with a team looking like that, you get what you deserve. So <laughs> Randall, comes to, uh, Randall Cobb comes to her rescue and says, make your team as slotty as slotty as you want. And of course, what you did just to go next level, it was in a drugstore with all sorts of uh, products. She's also buying condoms. Yes. She happened to be buying condoms at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and are you still, you're still filling out the, the show for the rest of the yes, fall. Yes. So you're still trying to guess what is going to happen in the 2015 NFL season, which, you know, is, it's impossible to it, do. It is, it is very hard. And as I was saying, the, the clip that you saw with, with Brady, yeah. it was, okay, Brady suspended or he's not suspended? In that same scene, it's the Thursday night game, Pittsburgh, New England. Right. Um, someone was talking about a Pittsburgh wide receiver. And, of course, Martavis Bryant. So we have Martavis Bryant all over this. So we cover... Oh boy. All scenarios for Brady. And then a month later, Martavis Bryant suspended for four games. And it's just onto the looping stage for Marcus Wheaton, Marcus Wheaton, Marcus to Wheaton. To work that into the sound. Yeah, and it's a how oh you can't, gosh. it's hard to cover, it's hard to c cover every scenario. But do you know how the, the series is going to end right now? Yes. You, know, you do know that? Yes, poorly. Okay. <laughs> Um, I, doubt that. End, I doubt that. No, it will, uh, I meant for our people. No, it, uh, yes, we do have oh, a. See. There is a master plan. Okay. Um, uh, that we've been. That's been in the works for some time. And are you working on a cameo for that right now? Are you yes, trying there, to? Yes. There. are a few people that uh, I can't tell you about yet that are okay. Are going to be stopping by. Is there but, a Dirty Randy and Rafi episode? We are, as in a final season, we are going to be seeing Seth Rogen will be back as Dirty Randy and Jason Manzukis as Rafi. Fantastic. Will Forte, Aziz Ansari, Rob Riggle. Uh, it's a it's a it's a big group. So Do I need to contact my people to clear my schedule? They, you know, we tried contacting your people. Your people's an old phone number that dials someone in Mexico. Really? <laughs> So you need to get better representation. We're yes, available. Well, I mean, we're here in person. We can work this out. Yeah. I'd rather go through your representation okay, in Mexico. All right, I got well, it. well, they do have representation now that the DraftOps.com commercial has but, hit the. But uh, the I airways. hear they're representing each other. That's a sad thing. Yeah, it's a sad. The Chris Command Center is a mess. It really is. It's sort of like the Giants in the last True. 90 seconds trying to figure out what the time is. Yeah, you know? neither. I can assure you that neither of them scored. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody did in the DraftOps.com pick three, week one, the Celebrity League. Will you stay tuned to, for the reveal? For I the would big love to. Big reveal? announcement. I'm here. It is a big announcement. When we come back, the individual in our DraftOps.com Celebrity Fantasy Friends of Rich League. Somebody finished first, and that person is going to be joining us next here on The Rich Eisen Show. Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. Jeff Schaefer of the League on FXX. Uh, 
episode two of the final season tonight uh, on FXX. What's the time for that one? Uh, it's Wednesdays at 10. Oh, Wednesday. Wednesday tomorrow. At 10. Wednesday tomorrow. 10. My bad. You have 24 hours to prepare. Very good. Um, and you are kind enough to stay for the first big fantasy-related announcement here on, on this program. I, I love a drum roll. DraftOps.com, a sponsor of this program. We love them. Uh, they put up $25,000 in prize money for us to get a group of celebrities together where a $1,000 prize goes to whoever picks the three best combination of a trio of a quarterback, wide receiver, tight end, or a running back together, all three of them. And it's standard scoring. Whoever gets the most points in a week gets $1,000 for their charity. Nice. Unless it's a fan. And the he charity just... begins at home for the fan. Right. And DraftOps.com, Friends of Rich, pick three Celebrity League winner for week number one. As we show for the television audience, what I'm describing to the radio audience, the, uh, the tally, the final tally, belongs to our fan, Michael Storm. 65.22 points, beating out yes. the uh, profane uh, Bubby of uh, Rick Glassman, uh, Gloria Glassman, a big Cleveland Browns Gra fan. Grandma, yep. Gloria, Grandma Glassman. Gloria Glassman finished 62.94 points, same as Jake Tapper, who lends some gravitas to this from CNN. Sir. Uh, Chris Brockman right behind. Boy, did Adrian Peterson not help you out last night, mm -hmm. sir. I had it. I had it right there for the taking, and I'm blaming Norv Turner. I'm not blaming Peterson. And uh, I finished second to last, because I had the Eli Odell combination. Ah. DeMarco Murray's two touchdowns kept me out of the basement. Jerry Cantrell of Alice in Chains, dead last. Wow. He'll still be kind enough to join us on Thursday's program. <laughs> yes. And the loser of this sort of, the, you know, because there's a prize for the winner, and then there's the loser prize, which, as you know. Right. You every every Shiva needs a Sacco. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So the Sacco gets uh, a $1,000 prize as well. Right. That's because we get, it is $5,000 because it's the winner of the Sacco. end of the year Sacco. Great. Now, do you think Gloria Glassman, being a Cleveland fan, when she heard you have to pick three, did she think, oh, that's what Johnny Menzel's going to do? Hey, <laughs> <He's>, yes. <that's, laughs> That's probably what she thought. No, she knows more Cleveland Browns football than anybody that I've oh, ever met. Oh, the pain she must have in her heart. Yeah. So, Brockman, you did win just here in the building. Correct. Here at the Rich Eisen Show studio. Do we have Michael Storm on the phone? We do. Michael Storm is joining us, I believe, from the golf course. Michael maybe. Storm, are you playing nine right now in the pick three? Ah, something like that. My fantasy picks are a lot better than my golf game. I'll tell That's you that. good. Congratulations. You just won $1,000 because you listened to the Rich Eisen Show and you joined at richeisenshow.com slash draft up. So, congratulations. Oh, well, thank you, Rich. I you appreciate bet. it. So you, you chose three players, from, and we're all in last night's game, Julio Jones, Matt Ryan, and DeMarco Murray. Did you think at the time that you had yourself a, a winner, Michael? Uh, I knew I took the lead when uh, the big pass to Julio Jones for 44 yards went, but I didn't know who uh, Grandma Glassman or Jake Tapper <laughs> took for their two guys left, so I didn't know who was going to win. I thought I lost, actually. I thought they, had, they hooked up Julio Jones with Matt Ryan, and I thought I lost by .90, but... They obviously had Bradford. And what do you do for a living again, Michael? I open restaurants for a living, and I work for a service uh, electric. So this is what I do is I, I Jeff, I, I get people who open restaurants for a living right. going against uh, uh, grandmas in Ohio classic. for the battle for $1,000. It's a classic battle royale. Don't you think so? Yeah. You can steal this for the league By the because way, you're I, still forming ideas. We haven't ideas. finished the season finale. This could and be this, this a is, stirring conclusion. This is gritty stuff. Well, Michael, congratulations. You got your $1,000 richer right now. So, well, I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. You, Bet it all in the next hole. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for calling in, Michael. We'll, we'll figure out how to get you your check. Okay, bud? That, all right. That sounds good. You, you guys have a great afternoon. You bet. And thanks for listening. How about that? It's the amazing. fan wins week number one. Amazing. $1,000. We're ready to give it away to charity. Just right giving there. it away. I know. You can't give it away now. You can't. He's not giving it away. <laughs> Just like our fan of the week, Michael Storm, we all love the excitement of daily fantasy sports in a draftops.com. It takes just seconds to set a pick three lineup. If you're Grandma Glassman, she can do it. No, you get the idea. On other sites, you're playing against thousands of supercomputers, but at DraftOps.com, you're playing against real people, just like Michael Storm and Grandma Glassman, even Chris Law. Visit DraftOps.com today and get ready to win. That's D-R-A-F-T-O-P-S.com, where your opponents are human, and the winning is easy. And we are also human, because apparently, moving forward, we're not allowed to let people choose play all three from the same game. Really? Yeah, they only want to let you choose two from the same game. You can still do the quarterback. Yeah, wide receiver well, combo. I mean, like Eli Odell. Right. But I couldn't have then gone, went ahead and chosen Dez because right. it's all from the same game. Julio, or, 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 Julio, or Dunbar. You know? Julio Dunbar, was a, yeah. just a man among boys. He is. I mean, this, it's the start of quinning. <laughs> it's the start the, of yeah, The Atlanta like Falcons that, are huh? now quinning. Well, I mean, the, the Pete Carroll family tree. The that defense, that tree. defense was flying around like the Seahawks. Of your, and it's so interesting. 
Max Byron Maxwell was getting torched, just yes. great on the Seahawks, got torched on the Eagles. Kerry Williams got torched on the Eagles, mm -hmm. has a has a sack, fumble recovery, and uh, picks and basically runs in for touchdown yeah. for the Seahawks. Although so. former Legion of Boomer Byron Maxwell didn't have to look very he, sharp. He last looked time. a little deer in the headlights. I, he, well, I mean, it was it was brutal, and uh, but the Eagles almost had him right there. There's breaking news about uh, Jason Pierre-Paul's fingers because mm -hmm. there was a, a conversation about the Giants saw him for the first time and. The, the whole nine-fingered thing is uh, might be uh, incorrect. But Dr. Brockman, you have the news to impart to me, Jeff Schaefer, and the rest of the Just a metal hand? Yeah, here. the worldwide leader is reporting that he's now uh, missing the tip of his right thumb. So his right index finger and the tip of the right thumb. That's how, you, that's how you hold things you're not supposed to hold. That's, <laughs> that's how you hold things that explode. It's almost as if he said, how will I never sign my contract? That's right. I'm right-handed. Well, what do I write with? Oh. Point your finger and the thumb. That's now I, I want to make sure I can never sign it. How can I never sign it? I'll blow this whole thing up. You've heard that in a deal before, right? I will blow this whole thing up. He just took it literally. Yes. His agent's going, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. This is why we need you around more often. Yeah. This is your first blush reaction that to this my first blush reaction that another is. human being on this planet, in addition to missing his right index finger, is missing the tip of his right thumb. Yeah. But I think it, we do know that how he was, in fact, holding something you're not supposed to hold. <laughs> that gives you that idea. Jay Glazer is also reporting he's lost a significant amount of muscle mass because he hasn't oh been able gosh. to work out. And uh, when, he, when he met with the Giants, that was part of the issue as well. And uh, also a big signing of a former number one overall pick from uh, the University of Michigan, Rich. Mr. Long. Jake Long, Jake Long is officially a member of the Atlanta Falcons. Yeah, because now that the week one is complete, these contracts they that are signed, they, well, it, yeah, they're not, they're not guaranteed right. dollars. Right. They're not guaranteed dollars. All right, I'm going to ask you the question I always ask you before I let you yes. go. Yes. You know what, where I'm going with this. You had to know where I'm, I yes. was going to ask this question. In fact, I prepared for this. Please tell me there is positive news about the return of Curb Your Enthusiasm. So, Jackie and I had dinner with Larry this Saturday. LD. LD, we had dinner with last Saturday. You we, broke bread. Yes, we broke bread, okay. we chatted. Uh, Wait a minute, first of all, was there a captain who showed you to the table? <laughs> In addition to the maitre d', was no. there, a, there was no, no there was captain. captain. Okay, just wanna no make captain. sure. Okay. But we did, we were vigilant to avoid the time when the check goes down and then the waiter doesn't come back for a long time. Yes. We're both, that's just dead time. That's a death spiral. <laughs> if you don't have that credit card out when that check goes down, yeah. you've lost 40 minutes of your Can't life. Can't make the reach. No. Can't make the reach. You gotta order out here. Of yeah. Stay here. Yes. Stay here. Can't I'm gonna do give it. you this. Don't yeah. go away. Right, yeah. We don't need to, it doesn't need to be solemn. We don't need to. We don't need to be <laughs> precious about the, I'm, this is a transaction, we all know it. Yes. So, uh, so we talked about what's moving forward, um, and there's, some, there's a few things that he's interested in. Um, one being uh, a movie okay. uh, that may go forward, and the other being another season of Curb. And so, and they're not mutually exclusive. So a Curb movie is No, what? it'd be a movie, a non-Curb movie, or a, similar, and or another Curb season. Similar to the one that you just previously did for uh, Yes, so there, okay. there may be something like that. So there's... There's, there's actual, he's done with the play, and he's starting to think about new stuff. So he is, when the idea of bringing up of Curb Your Enthusiasm, he is, he is not rejecting it out no. of hand. No, it's never, been, it's never been a rejection. It's always been, let's see what's next. So and what, what is it? Do you have an idea of what it might be? You and, I mean, Alec Berg, who's on this program, he's, he's killing yeah. it with Silicon Valley on HBO. Yeah. And by the way, and Dave Mandel, Dave Mandel is now uh, running Veep. Believe it or not. So there's, so, you guys are all working. The band can all, the band can all yeah, get back can. together. Garland, Garland could tell the Goldbergs, I got to do this right. also. It's all, it's all subtle pressure. Then we'll, we'll get back to be the supergroup Asia once again. <laughs> um, you know, yeah. It'll be fun. So anyway, he's just, he's sort of just finished from the play, thinking about it, but right. it's definitely, it's definitely an option. Do you have an idea right now? Do you have an about, idea? Of which way of we go? Curb. Oh, no, no, of, of, of a curb idea. Have you thought, do you have an idea right now? Oh, like there's where? lots of ideas. Oh yeah, there's, there's been, and some of them, some of them have uh, gone into the league, but there's others that are just particularly curved. That, right. And he's got them, too. We, in fact, we had a few when we were sitting at the, at the table. So it's so there. It's there. He got the notebook out, was writing a few down. So, come on. We've got to make this happen. Yeah. What, what, what can I do? How, help me help you. How can I help this process? I think... It's got to happen, Jeff. Well, there's two things. Come, bring him on. Okay. Get well, him... Uh, he's been invited. He is an... He is, he is, he, and he knows he's invitation. got a standing invitation. Yes, um, he knows that. And... Uh, Let's just, let's see how uh, let's see how this next month plays out. We may know more in a month. Okay.
That I can tell you've you. Been, oh, you've been very coy every time you come on here, but the best this, thing is you never say, ah, it's over. No, because it's not. We actually were talking about it. This we, is progress. This is progress. This is progress yeah. based on based on previous conversations. Because yeah. you know that I have given you ideas that I, I need to see in a Curb Your Enthusiasm I completely episode. understand that, and, and they're good ideas. You know, the, the one where somebody is in the bathroom yep. stall, going number two, Larry walks in, guy in the bathroom stall sneezes. Do you say God bless you? Do you say God love you? And Larry refuses to break that wall. Right between himself and that person, that you stall need, wall. You need to be in parallel universes. But Larry's shoes are so recognizable that the guy right. in the stall knows it was Larry who refused to say God bless you. I mean, it's, it's perfect. Right. You too good to say God bless you? You know where I'm going. Right. You see what I'm saying? Oh, it writes, yeah, that one writes itself. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. That's a good one. That's I'll one. Take that. That's, That's one. <laughs> Let's drink some together. <laughs> hey, man, uh, come back. Come back later on this. Uh, I know oh, yeah. you're busy doing all this stuff, shooting the rest of the league on FXX, yeah. but uh, people come should back. watch episode two tomorrow at 10.30 p.m. Eastern yeah, time. very funny show. Good to see you, sir. Awesome. As back. always a pleasure. Thank thing you. One thing, too. That is Thanks, Jeff, Jeff. Awesome. Schaefer right here on The Rich Eisen Show. Back to wrap up this program. We have a great show in store on Wednesday. Antonio Brown, David Shaw, Eric Davis in studio, and then a special guest who I will reveal when we come back. That's a tease. That is a tease. That's a tease. We're back with more in a moment. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.